Hi, this is Robert Kilonzo with OSI Affiliate Software. And today I'm going to show you how to do on-page SEO for your e-commerce website. This video will teach you on-page SEO basics that will help your customers find you. The most important thing to remember when designing your website or pages is that you want to give your customers value and create a great user experience. For this video, we'll be looking at Zappos.com to learn what they are doing to make it easier for customers to find them. And this is the page, the example page we'll be looking at. When trying to make it easier for customers to find you or to rank your e-commerce website, you want to use the correct keywords on your page. To find keywords, log into your Google AdWords and use the Google's Keyword Planner. That's a great tool and resource that's going to show you which keywords you want to target. Once you narrow down your search and you find the keywords you want to use, you want to use these keywords on your page title, on your meta description, and on your URL. Let's look at what Zappos did. Zappos is trying to rank, rank this page for Gabriela Rocha. And if we look at their title, you will see that they have used the keyword Gabriela Rocha in their title. They have also used the keyword in the meta description. And if you look at the URL, you will see that they have used Gabriela Rocha in the URL. This is the same thing you want to do with your store. If you are selling a glass or phones or business cards, anything you're selling online, you want to use the keywords you found associated with your product and you want to use them in the title, in the meta description and in the URL. Additionally, you also want to use these keywords in your content. For every product, service, or page you have, make sure that content is unique. Create great, unique, valuable content that users will use and will appreciate. And if we look at this Gabriela Rocha example, you will see that Zappos has provided the product information for these boots. They have detailed product information. You want to do the same thing. You want to have unique, detailed content and use those keywords within that content. However, make sure that the content is not duplicate. Some online stores and businesses will just grab the information directly from the manufacturer and paste it on their page. You don't want to do that. You want to come up with unique content that describes your product and your page. If you, if you already have your pages set up and they're online and you want to double check whether you have duplicate content, there's tools out here that you can use that will help you do that. I will give you three tools, three easy tools to use. The first one, Copyscape. Just go into Copyscape and type in your website and Copyscape will do a search and find if there's any copies of your content on the web. Another great tool you can use to find duplicate content or to search duplicate titles and descriptions, meta descriptions, is the free tool from Screaming Frog, the SEO Spider tool. Download this tool, install it, and use it to try and find if you have any duplicate duplicate titles and page descriptions, meta descriptions. The last tool to use is SiteLiner. Just go into SiteLiner, enter your website domain, and click go. This will help you find duplicate content. Next thing you want to do is if you have images on your website, you want to optimize those images using your keywords. Zappos has a lot of images. They use images to show their shoes 
and if your store has a product that you have images or if you just have any images on that website use those images and optimize them for your keyword you want to have the name have the keyword associated with it you want the alt text anything you use for that image optimize it the next thing for great on-page SEO and user experience thing to keep in mind of is how fast does the page load? How fast does your page load? Let's look at this post example. If I go to it, click enter, it happens really, really quickly. If your website is taking long to load, you're losing customers and it's not good for your ranking. Do speed tests for your page and optimize those pages to make sure that they're loading really fast on the page you can also include your social networking tabs these tabs allow customers to share save information from your page if they find that your information is unique and valuable they'll share it with their friends all this they'll save it to come and visit later include social networking sharing buttons they will help you rank better and they will give users a great experience. Another thing to keep in mind of is your navigation. How easy is it to navigate your website or get to your products? If we look at Zappos, you will see that they make great use of breadcrumbs. Look at this breadcrumbs navigation. It just shows you what path you took to get to the product. You have shoes, boots then gabriella rocha these breadcrumbs not only help your customers have an easy experience navigating but they also do help in ranking and for the keywords and for making it easier to find your product the last thing or guideline you want to keep in mind is making your page and website accessible through mul multiple browsers and multiple devices Test your website in all browsers, such as Safari, Chrome, Firefox, IE. Make sure it's accessible in all these browsers and also make sure it's accessible through all the mobile devices, iPhones, iPads, your regular computer. Test it in all these applications and make sure it's accessible through all those platforms and browsers. So the things you want to keep in mind when you're doing on-page SEO, again, Use your keywords and use them on the title, the meta description, the URL. Use unique content and make sure the content has the keywords. Include, optimize your images. Make sure your images are optimized with the keywords. Then include the social sharing buttons. Make sure your page loads really fast. Have a breadcrumbs navigation and make sure that you're whole website and Easter is accessible through multiple browsers and multiple devices. Thank you for watching this video. I hope these on-page SEO guidelines will help you will help you optimize your e-commerce website better. Remember, give your customers value and create a great user experience. Take care.